I know George is actually one of your training partners, so I'm going to be over here responsible for uh, making sure we're not biased in the commentary of this fight. But I need to go to you. Can you give me some insight on George Caruana? Unfortunately, I'm recovering from a concussion, so I haven't been sparring at all, uh, stand-up sparring. But I have been around and watched George in his grappling training, in his no-gi training, and some of his MMA sparring. And consummate professional, really, really loves the game and fighting. And George has been around for ages. He's, he's vied for titles at the bantamweight division. He's come up short a few times. He's had some lower parts in his amateur career. And he's come back steaming ahead in the last three fights. And we're seeing a new George Caruana, someone who's very confident and doesn't have his, you know, his addressing those holes in his game. He's no longer getting taken away. By wrestlers and strong jiu-jitsu guys. So, Mutch got a great, he does have a great corner. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's gonna be him out there today, and I know things have changed a bit because he was fighting a bantam weight only two weeks ago. That fight felt good, and now he's taking one uh, I mean, Steve, I've been in the way ends, and I've seen George shuffle on the cage. I once tried to interview him after one of his way ends, he was Physically got even before he cut so much weight and was so depleted. I'm actually really excited to see just how good he is at this weight. That little bit healthier maybe, a little bit better hydrated. He's always a killer cardio anyway. Yeah, that was well. Um, he was rolling on Tuesday and he was still still putting in good rounds. So. And his opponent entered the battle in the cage into the blue corner. Make some noise for Imran Chahani. Imran Chalami coming out. Imran 2 0. Oh. London Shoot Fighters. I mean, do London Shoot Fighters ever lose, Steve? It's very frustrating. It's becoming a little uh, predictable. I mean, Imran's coming in 2 0. Oh. One knockout, one dart. Um, and from such an incredible team, you know he's been there in the cage with the likes of you know, John Hathaway, Michael Bennett Page, and so many other monsters out of that London Shoot Fighters team. But they've been around with pretty much the same coaches. In 1994. They've been through all the evolutions of this sport. They've uh, grown over the years with the next generation of fighters, implementing the changes, the growth of the sport. And it's incredible to see. And uh, I mean, I'm not entirely, I don't have the stats in front of me. I'm going to guess the London Shoot Fighters win rate on this show is probably 80 to 90%, which is uh, it's going to be very impressive. I can't think of the last. I think, I think a one time they lost ever. Yeah, BST Academy has a similar yeah. a similar record. And Chelms is looking in great shape. Yeah. Ripped, very, very well put together. I will be excited for this one. I mean, these are main event fighters, but uh, Valerie just often put them in the middle of the shot this time. Introducing first the fighter in the red corner. Weighing 66.7 kilograms, representing RGA Books. Make some noise for George Caruana. And he's involved in the fight side in the blue corner. Weighing 66.8 kilograms, representing London Shoots. Make some noise for Imran. So we have uh, George Caruana in the white and green, Imram in the black. This is going to be an incredibly interesting first round, first exchange in 30 seconds. George is fighting up. George and, and Imran are both very, very tall fighters for 145 pounds. I mean, two fights ago, George showed his skills on the feet, getting a very quick knockout. Last fight, just one of the most beautiful jiu-jitsu transitions that I've seen in this cage but he has his hands full with the undefeated Imran. Just calls from the corner for George to establish his jab. Imran switching stances. Oh nice high kick and that's what he's had success with in the past. He's so flexible and he's so good at landing those heavy shots. I feel like Imran's trying to time it for that. The takedown against the fence. This has been what London Shoe has been great at and they suck it in yeah. and pull him into the 
floor there. Now we know that George. George has got his back to the. Yeah, yeah. sorry. I was going to say George trains at a very good Jiu Jitsu Academy under Kev Capel and Dan Lewis. He will have uh, been drilling these kind of positions. What does uh, George need to do to get up from here? He's team? doing the right things. He's pushing his back up against the fence. He's getting up onto his butt. Now he's got to start digging those underhooks and getting a hand under him to try to start standing up. Oh, good transition from Imran though. Yeah, he's working around the body there, trying to swallow up those, trying to pick those wrists. It's just so technical. This, you get to this level when we're fighting for titles, it's, you know, undefeated guys, the best guys on this show. It's, it's literally a different sport. It's, it's a battle of inches, it's a chess game. It's and this is what you'd think you'd be seeing from Imran, is, a, is somebody trying to grind it out with George, not letting him establish that striking game that he's been so famous for. Yeah. And Imran just stepping over the far guard. There's a problem here for George Caruana. That's a very, you know, a very s simple mistake to make, trying to use that butterfly hook to elevate while you're in side control or in half guard. And yeah. that's what gave side control to Imran. I think we're going to see George trying to get on his right hand side, work his leg back across, recover the position, and look for a scramble. Imran doing a really good job of. He's not rushing. This is what we see from the best fighters on the show. And he's settling in. He's yep. making George carry his weight. And you know you're winning. You know, George is going to be getting more tired in this position than Imran is. He doesn't need to rush. He just needs to be active enough that the referee won't stand it up, pick his shots, win rounds. And this is this is, uh, this is the difference between this level of fighters and some of the other fighters we're going to see on this card. I do like that, that cheeky knee that Imran, that Imran landed and threw to the body there. George's got it. Oh, get that what's he looking for? Buggy choke on the top. Be optimistic about this. George's got to be really, really careful here. He might look, look for that north south choke. Yeah, maybe. Or fake oh, it to step fake over it to mount. mount. Very good transition by him now. Guys, yep, George coming up on that underhook. He's scooting back again. He's got to be careful next. next. George Caruana. This is a, mount, a very hard to finish that. Good positional right dominance here from Imran. Good count around. He's right 10 the seconds. So he just, uh, damage. just can't take much damage here in the last 10 seconds. Keep tying him up and re-establish. Excellent ground and pound. That's clearly around for Imran. Got the takedown. Great control. Transition to dominant position. But didn't manage to get much damage going. No, he didn't. This is... Huge round for him. It is a huge, Gotta give huge him a round. lot of confidence. It definitely does, and he's grinded it out quite well with George. You know, he's he's slowed him down, he's taken him down, he's gone on top, and he's been able to to move around that guard fairly easily and answer George's attempts at getting that wall walk going on. George is going to need a lot more lateral movement. He's going to have to be very very aware of those double leg takedowns because Imran's using the cage very well to back him up into it. And uh, a shout out to Max Mordente watching this at home, one of George Caruana's training partners. Been dropping me messages all night. He's very excited to see this one. You're right, Max. Good to see you, man. When are we going to see you back in the field? I don't know. Go over it. Is that? Nah, that not right? really. Just girls now. <laughs> He's a very intelligent voice at the university. Here we go. Carolina. Carolina versus Imran. Imran's going to be, I think, trying to do the same thing. Yeah. Talks to fight, fight from the outside. George guys hips back a little bit more. The man showing that he's got high kicks as well. Imran needs to, George is going to stay on the cage. Much better by Caruana. Much, yeah. much better. Caruana looking to flip the script here. We know that Caruana's a lot of wrestling over there at RJ Bucks. He's doing really well. Leg and hip inside is what his coach is calling for. He's got to commit to it. Imran trying to get that head position back. Imran was trying to reach for the leg for a med skirt position there, which is really high level, especially with that body lock available. And now George has got to be very careful. I love your level of reaction, Steve. You say things that I have no idea what you're talking about. It's just like a like a <laughs> pulling the leg up to your shoulder kind of ah, thing. It's really it. cool. George got two hands on that grip. He's going to get dragged away, though. Yeah, beautiful takedown again by Imran. Drags Caruana to the floor. He's doing well to... I always say this to fighters, you've got a huge, you know, it's like a giant pizza with everything on it is MMA. And you just want to make them fight in your slice. If you like pepperoni and cheese, and we can call that double legs and ground and pound, make them fight with pepperoni and cheese. What is a pizza and allergy, Steve? Very good. I, I prefer mushrooms. Because <laughs> he's a fun guy. Oh, no, I ruined it. Sorry, Steve. George doing well here in Butterfly. You know, he's got a very 
good strong position. Yeah, Trying to get those feet on the hips maybe and push him away. Yeah, Imran staying forward, making sure he's winning the round, but he's, once again, he's not doing a lot of damage. Strong head position here. Yep. And there you go, looking to frame away on the head. Do you think Imran will separate, look to pass the legs? No, he wants to keep this pressure. He's going to do it under his own time here. Yep. Again, George is on an overhook on his left side. He couldn't get his underhook, oh, and now he's nice switched work. it. He's Give him a bit of space. Kev Capel giving some underhook and post up on the left. fantastic advice. Steve. He gave up, and he, he, po he was posting up on he had post up on his left hand to get that right arm up that was being called. Good, good wrist wrist fighting here, hand fighting here from Imran. Yeah, he's looking for the Khabib, the uh, the Dagestani hand wrap, trying to reach around and pass the hand across, but gives up on it now. Nice work from the bottom with the over wrap by George Caruana. A little ground and pound of his own going. We haven't seen Imran get off the same amount of ground and pound, and now he's now he's starting to yeah, that collar grip opening up towards the end of this round. Or often a sense of urgency George, at the end of George the needs to roll over and get in a, a turtle position and start scrambling up. But yeah, surprisingly, he just needs to try and get up there, Steve. Beautiful pass there by him, then. Yeah, oh, there he goes, there he shots. goes. Come up on that single, he's getting sprawled on here. Again, posting, getting a hand under you and walking in. Very strong here from Caruana. Oh, love. <laughs> well timed knee up the middle, at the end of the round. It happens. That's just the way, what happens. We're not gonna, can't call it. Are they, that was right at the very, very end of the round. He's gotta go to a neutral corner right now. They will, uh, so what's going on here, folks, at home, is that uh, there was an illegal blow two seconds before the end of the round, so. Imran will have usually up to uh, three minutes, I think, in Adam to rules, to uh, take to recover from the uh, groin shot, and then at that point it will be the end of the round. And this is very, this is very, very good actually, because Imran has been spending a lot of time and a lot of energy pressing in to yeah. George Caruana, trying to control those positions. So, I think uh, the London Shoot Fighters guys. Very right. Yeah, I'm going to tell Imran to take his time. Yeah. Take it, charge yourself up for the third round, because that's been the real difference, is being able to fly forward and control those those positions. It's not necessarily that George doesn't have the answer, it's just that he's, he's not necessarily committing to the underhook, the post, and coming up on that side. He had some very good, nice transitions from butterfly to half guard. But Imran's just one step ahead, really, really good with that head position under the chin, and he's moving off correctly. Yeah, so Paul Nichols just calling it accidental. Okay, yep. now the call will time. come in. There's only a second left in the round. So within the rules, you get the time to recover, and then it goes back to the normal action, which is uh, a minute recovery time. The corners give you advice. What, is, uh, what do you think of this broader concept for you, Steve? What do you think of rounds? I mean, would you rather it was just three, five minute sections that they judged but there was no break in between because like right there not right there but round one say George Carolina was helped by the end of the round because he was on his back in a bad position then the round means that he gets to reset start again on his feet the question is you know how much does it does it damage the purity that, that we're following this boxing model of having X amount of time followed by a minute break I'm a big fan of stories, Chris. I'm a big <laughs> fan of stories having their ebbs and their flows and having yep. something that is determined that is something that you're going to have to come up against. So there's always a crisis. The best thing about fighting is there's a crisis point, right? There's something that has to change every single fight, and that is the round time. time. So time. round ends. you got to go forward. You've got to start again. You've got some sort of equality there in terms of how you're going to start again. So that's a part of it. Let's see if George Caruana has got the answer. Me getting mean mugs still from Imran, who's come... <laughs> Imran Chums has come ready, fired up. He's definitely looked at tape of George Caruana and he thinks he has the answer. And so far in two rounds, he's shown it. There's going to be some urgency here now. Nice, nice oblique kick there to the knee. Or upper thigh, sorry, he can't kick to the actual knee. 
Imran Shams. London shoot. Ooh, and he steps forward with a shifting right hand. Unorthodox, right? You see the crispness of George Caruana striking. Yeah, Imran was hard to read. Uh, right hand. There's calls from, fast. calls from George's corner for him to use his hands more, but fighting those underhooks and trying to get up off your back and posting, that builds a lot, puts a lot of blood right up into your shoulders. You just got to be careful that he just slipped on that one. Yeah. Oh, is he hurt? It's back, George. It's back. Judge this, I don't know if that was just frustration. The frustration or a yelp in pain. I mean, again, to be so again, now he's, he's building up again. We see he accepts the overhook on that right hand side of his. So on the on the left side of what we're looking at, he's accepting the, the overhook rather than digging an underhook and then posting up on his hand. You see he's posting up on that right hand now, but without an underhook, he cannot get up. Yeah, he's gonna be fighting for that underhook now, listening to escape from his corner. So trying to get up to his feet. His corner's desperately asking for it. Really hard here because once he gets up, Imran's going to use his own underhook on his own right side to try to get back down onto the legs yes. or pull them out. George trying to get back to his feet. There you go. He's he had the underhook there for a moment. It's just so much pressure on him right now. This is this is really really tough because you've got to you've got to be used to three things, you know, three things happening here. One, posting and coming up and possibly getting taken again, down again. Two, turning your back and possibly getting your back taken. Or three, pushing on the head and hoping that he doesn't pop up first and, and uppercut you. You see, he's he's loaded up. He's on his feet now. He's got the underhook. He's trying to peel that hand off his hip. A lot of good work here from both fighters. So 50 seconds left. Imran could do a little bit better by trying to own the head position, as could George Caruana. But he's so out of out of the position right now. And it's been an exhausting pace. There he is, back up on that underhook, back up on that side. He's trying to close it down maybe for a bit of reprieve. It was always going to be interesting to see how a bantamweight champion would come up against a full-out featherweight, and it does seem that the size and strength advantage has been something Imran Jones has been able to use to grind out this fight. Yeah, and, yeah I don't know how much stronger Imran is or how much heavier, but certainly it's just his positioning, his determination, his drive. Stick it to the game. There he is, back up again at the very end of the round. He finds that little push. Yep. Does George Caruana? He's always in it. Second Imran opens up, he takes the opportunity to get back to his feet. Then the fight. Three rounds spine. Very good fight. The night belongs to Imran. Great performance. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Steve, <laughs> very disappointed. I mean, he's, he, does, he does not bias incredibly well. I'm going to say, what an performance by Imran. Sam says, Incredible, it's representing London shoot fires. Oh, it's it was a brilliant, you know, a, a really, really brilliant display. There was a couple of really nice things I saw there from Grand Champs. I really liked his shifting right hand that he was using to enter in on the hips. Yeah. Um, able to back George Caruana up very, very well, despite George using very slick angles to try to land his kicks and his jabs. And there, in the third round, you saw George a little bit, a little less inclined to really lean into any punches because he was afraid of getting taken down and then there's that slip there third round that caused that round to definitely dip into the, the techniques of Imran Jones but really good performance for both fighters and there was, there was no doubt that both fighters were always in it it's just that grind that that lay in I don't want to call it lay in prey but it's kind of grinded out style on the back on the on the ground that has brought every single one of these London Shoot Fighters tonight their championships. So, Imran Shelms, I think the night belongs to you. So after three rounds of action, we go through the judges' scorecard for a decision. And all three judges have it as a unanimous decision for the fight off in the blue corner, Imran Shelhani.
Well, London Shoot Fighters didn't come just to participate, did they? That was great cornering as well. Good gamesmanship. Uh, there was a lot of there was a lot that was really positive there for Imran Chelms. 